We Very can't, good morning we can't to you. Lovely to Given see Bradley you. Walsh has, has blazed the torch this morning, for, suggesting we're like the couple from Moonlighting. Actually, the more appropriate analogy might well be Don't See a Mate Piece because that was very much professional in front of the cameras. Yes, and Moonlighting were our great rivals at right, the time. Right, right. <laughs> but off camera, you know, um, Cupid's It was all stuff. happening. It was, it was all <laughs> happening. Fight, fight, fight. I mean, a bit like Moonlighting. And, yeah. and were you in denial about it for quite a while? Uh, well, well, I don't think it was denial. He was in denial. Mm. He was in denial that I wouldn't date him. Mm. When you went home, said to the person you were... Living with you know more about me than I do. I yeah. can't. I can't bear this guy. He is insufferable. Mm. How well, he am I ever going to get through this? The he parallels was, are really. It was a night. <laughs> he was a nightmare to work with. <laughs> oh, so, this yeah. isn't helping, Liz. This isn't so you were working with somebody you found insufferable in this who building. Was a nightmare, in who this presumably building. you in never this imagined. Building. Yes. No. It all started in this building. Presumably, oh, yes, you never goodness. imagined it could ever develop into anything romantic. Uh, no, no. And, yeah. and now we're just an old married couple. And terribly boring. What was the moment, do you think, when you realised actually you'd been completely wrong? <laughs> no, it's honestly, so, it's as all you were saying, him. as you were saying about the play, <laughs> thank you. Now, what I understand about the best man, which is all yeah. about American politics, is it, it when it was originally played on Broadway, it didn't get a West End transfer because people no. didn't think the UK audience would be interested in American politics. No. Well, goodness me, yeah. things how have times have changed. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's 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 amazing. The play is sixty years old. It's never been done here. I think they had a revival on Broadway in about two thousand and twelve. But the timing is just perfect. Mm. And I mean, I know The Best Man sounds a little bit like a, a wedding sitcom. Right. But it is, in fact, a, a razor sharp political thriller by Gore Vidal, whose writing is so rel I mean, a man so ahead of his time in his views and his writing. So the writing is mm. not. Stella dated Cost at all. as well. There you are amazing. with. Um, uh, I mean, we just amazing saw a glimpse cast. of uh, one of our favourites, Maureen Littman. Oh, yes. As well. Absolute legend. Um, I just read about your, you know, I'm always interested in how people look so fabulous and you, you look utterly fabulous. Apparently one of the things you do is you avoid water. <laughs> What's going on? You can't you know, literally avoid water. How do you water? survive? Yes, I, I don't drink, drink water. any water. I, I only have wine. Um, no. Is that the answer? I'm pickled. That's so. great. <laughs> um, uh, no, because I, I brought out this diet book, The Instinct Diet, a couple of years ago and um, th there was quite a bit of publicity and uh, yes, I think one of the papers said, uh, Guinness does it by not drinking water, which is a complete misnomer because we do talk about drinking water because most people sip through the day. Yeah. And one of the things that I think is slightly unique to our diet is that we say to drink when thirsty as a child because mm. you don't have to stay ahead of thirst. You know, the body doesn't... The body works quite well and it doesn't have to be babysat. So when it comes to eating, you don't have to eat all the time. It's actually... Good for longevity right. if you eat. Uh, so just is drink when you're thirsty. Yoga basically. is your big thing, right? Um, well, I, yes, I love all exercise mm. and um, yes, and yoga as well. Mm. But we've just spent the last year transforming, transforming the site into an online program, so that's going. Oh. Like and you and Mark have been married thirty years. Um, not quite, but nearly. Next, next, next year, twenty year, something. You know, yeah. you forget after a while, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I think 30. next year yes. is your thirtieth wedding anniversary. Is it? I have a feeling it is. Good grief! Yeah. Oh, and I gone, think goodness. You got married in nineteen eighty-nine. And he gone, yes, from, he gone from being utterly insufferable to being the love of your life. <laughs> well, yeah. that's another subject. That's another subject. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't, doesn't uh, happen for He's everybody. watching. I'm not going to give that to him. Well, do you know what's funny? I was in LA recently, and I went to see a movie with my wife in Beverly Hills, and I got down the bottom of the escalator to the ground. Lower ground floor, and suddenly someone at the top shouted, "Beers!" I can bring him, and I thought naturally, I thought it's a fan. Yeah, you know? no so I gave, no gave him the royal wave. Hello, hello. And as I did, I was like, "Looks a bit familiar." Anyway, my wife said, "Who was that?" I said, "I think it's just a fan." And I said, "Although he did look a bit like Michael Brandon." <laughs> and then the next night, I went to Joan Collins's housewarming. Where's the clang? And um, clang. Walked in. First Thank person you. I see is your husband. He says, "I went, Michael. Let's suppose." He said, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. Because he bellowed it. I know. Uh, mm. Anyway, it's lovely to see him. Typical, he's a, typical. He's yeah. a great character. You are a delightful uh, couple. And I think that there's a lesson for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> well, can I just say, the key word in that last anecdote mm. was wife. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yes. you very much yes. indeed. It's Hollywood. And I play a wife in The Best Man, too. <laughs> Hollywood, you have loads of wives. This is perfectly normal. <laughs>